We are going to begin our final nightstand drafting assignment. <clears throat> nightstand assignment number three, creating a cover page and cutting list. Begin by going to your Microsoft Teams assignments, finding nightstand assignment number three, and find the nightstand cover page template, which is a Rhino file, and download that file. Once you have downloaded that file, open that file, and you will find a template that looks like this. It has two views and then a cutting list prepared for you. We're going to begin similar to how we began our nightstand assignment number two with the three detailed dimension drawing. By coming to our nightstand model, we're going to select our nightstand model and go to the edit menu and copy. At that point, we're going to come back to our cover page template, and we're going to double click and make this viewport active on the left. And we're going to paste our nightstand into this view. Once you've done this, just maneuver around and fill your screen so that it takes up the majority of your screen with the nightstand. We're going to then come down to our Perspective tab and we're going to select everything that we have here and with our gumball, we're going to click on our right arrow and drag and as we drag, we're going to tap the Alt key until that plus sign comes up and we're going to make a copy of the next hand. And we'll go back to our Template tab. We'll double click in our right view here and then we are going to put the right version of the nightstand in this view. And we will leave this view alone. In our left hand, we're going to double click to make the viewport active. And with Gumball, we're going to click on our parts of our nightstand and slowly but carefully pull these pieces apart so that we can see these as individual pieces of the nightstand. We're going to do this so that we can label these. And then fill in our cutting list. So with our viewport deactivated, we're going to be working on top of the paper. In our drafting tab, we're going to select our annotation dot and a submenu will type up. We're going to type in the letter A and press OK. And I'm going to place that letter right here. And there's a little dot with the letter A. At this point, I'm going to come to my leader tool, select my leader tool. I'm going to click where I want my arrow to point and I'm going to pull back to my dot and I'm going to right click. It's going to ask if we want to type anything and we're just going to say okay. In this case, I'm going to put two of these pointing to my sides and I'm going to say okay. At this point, I'm going to come down and I know these are my sides, so I'm going to come to the question mark. I'm going to Come over here to the side where the question mark is and replace that with an A. And now I have labeled my sides as A. With the sides labeled A, I'm going to select this second question mark and I'm going to type in a 2 because I have two of them under number. And now all I have to do is fill in the length, the width, and the thickness. To do this, we're going to reference your three detailed dimension drawing. So if you have your paper printed out, you can reference your paper. I'm going to look at mine here. I'm going to see that my sides have a length of 23 and a quarter, and my sides have a width of 12. So I am going to replace these question marks with dimensions 23 space 1 quarter and inch. The width is going to be replace this with a 12 inch and my thicknesses are all going to be 
three quarters of an inch. And I've filled in my cutting list for my sides. You're going to replace all of these with the dimensions from your three detail template to fill in the cutting list for your shelves, top, toe kick, and top frames. You'll follow the annotation dot. This time I'll put a B. I'll press OK. And I'm going to place this right here. I'll grab my leader tool. I'll pull back. And I'll have marked my shelves. I'm going to replace the question marks with B. I have two shelves. And I can tell from my three detailed dimension drawing, my shelves are 13 and 1 quarter inches long, and my shelves are 12 inches wide. One quarter inches long. Twelve inches wide. And three quarters of an inch thick. And you'll continue on to do the rest of your parts. Once you have your cutting list filled in, the last thing you'll need to do is click on your name and replace your name with your name. Once you have that done, save your file as nightstand cover page template with your name. Once you have saved your file, Print your file to the SHS Fab Lab printer and you are ready to begin your project.